Hello everyone, my name is Kavmont, and in this tutorial video, I am going to show you how to install MultiMC, Java 17, and how to change your preferred graphics device if you have trouble with that. I'll explain the last part more later on. I'll also show you how to install the custom clients I've made for this SMP, and I recommend you use them because they'll improve your performance, make your game look better maybe, and I put a lot of work into them, so uh, yeah. Anyway, the first thing you're going to do before you install, install MultiMC is install Java 17. If you already have a MultiMC installed but not Java 17, Follow this part and install Java 17, then skip to this timecode. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the Java website, which I have linked in the description, and you are going to scroll down here to Java SE Development Kit. You're going to take the Windows... You're going to take the Windows 64 installer right here. Once that's all downloaded, you're going to come here to your files, go to downloads, and you're just going to run this installer. Uh, as you can see, I already have it installed, so you're just going to have to do that for yourself. It's a pretty straightforward process, just do everything it tells you to do. Once you're done downloading Java 17, you're going to download MultiMC. Again, I have a link in the description, and you're going to come here to the website, and you're going to download the Windows 32 slash 64 bit version. Of course, if you have Mac or Linux, you're going to download either of those. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to make a folder. Doesn't really matter where it is, just make sure it's somewhere out of the way. I'm just going to put it on the desktop for now. Then you're going to come to where you downloaded MultiMC. You're going to put this zip file for MultiMC into the folder you just created. And then you're going to extract that folder you're going, to, you're going to extract the zip file into this folder. As, and then you're going to open uh, this folder and you're going to run multimc.exe. Make sure you choose English, or not, unless you choose to speak, unless you speak a different language. And then you're going to pick the version of Java that you just installed. It's going to be 17. You can also set your memory allocation to be more than one gigabyte, so your game may run better. I suggest four gigabytes, which is going to be 4,096 megabytes. After that, click Next. And click Finish. Once you do that, you're going to make you're going to want to make a test inst instance just click on add instance, click on the first version, click OK. And you're also going to need to sign in. So go to profiles, click on click on manage accounts, and then click on add Microsoft or Mojang account, depending on what you have. For my, follow the instructions on screen, and you should be able to log in just fine. For Microsoft, you're going to take this code, you're going to take whatever code, and you're going to open that link and you're going to sign in like that. And for Mojang, you should just be able to sign in with your email and username. Once that's all done, you can close that and just try launching this uh, instance to make sure it works. All right, as you can see, uh, it works, so just go ahead and quit out. Now, if you already have MultiMC installed, but it wasn't working because you didn't have the proper Java version, uh, make sure you go back to step one and install Java 17. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to settings you're going to uh, go to Java and you're going to go to auto detect and you're going to make sure it's on this version here which is 7 Java 17 make sure it's on Java 8 or Java 16 should be on Java 17 if for some reason it does not auto detect the file 
go to this path, go to the three buttons here, and you will have to locate it manually, which sounds kind of hard, but I'll where it usually is is under this PC. Under your C drive, program files, Java. Here it is. Uh, JDK 117.0.1, bin, and then you're going to find and select the file that says javaw.exe and click open. Now to install the custom clients, you're going to once again, go to the link I have in the, I have in the description or the Google doc that has these two custom clients. Optifabric is going to have more support for shaders, uh, resource packs, and it's going to have more video options. And Sodium is going to uh, give, usually give you better performance as long as you have a dedicated GPU, and it's going to have more support for fabric, for fabric mods. Sodium still has all of the same popular options that Optifine has, such as zoom and shaders. So let's go ahead and download the Sodium version. And once you have that downloaded, you're going to come over here to, and once you have that downloaded, what you're gonna do is add instance, import from zip, browse, go to your downloads, and select the zip file you just downloaded. Give it a second to install. And go ahead and launch it just to make sure it works. As you can see, it launched just fine, so you can go ahead and quit out. Or, you know, go ahead and play if you want. Lastly, if for some reason you're experiencing poor performance than you should, and you have a GPU and a CPU that supports integrated graphics, your performance issues may be due to Minecraft using your integrated graphics instead of your GPU. You can check in Minecraft by opening the F3 debug menu. To fix this, go ahead and go to NVIDIA Control Panel. And then you're going to go to Manage 3D Settings. And under Global Settings, you should, if you meet the criteria I said, have a drop down menu that says to choose preferred graphics device. I don't have it here because my CPU does not support uh, integrated graphics. But if you have it here, make sure it is not selecting no preference or your integrated graphics. Make sure it is on your dedicated GPU. And that's about it. You should be completely set to play on uh, the SMP with uh, the custom clients or use MultiMC if that's all you're using this for. If you have any more issues or questions, feel free to contact me.